The topic that we are going to see is Terraform testing revolution with version 1.6. Terraform released their version 1.6 in October 2023 and as part of that they have introduced a Terraform test framework which will actually revolutionize the way in which we run Terraform tests. Before we jump into the interesting topic, let me introduce myself. I am Dharani Saundarya. I am a senior infrastructure consultant from ThoughtWorks. I have an overall experience of around nine years, out of which I've been working in cloud and related technologies for five to six years. I am from Coimbatore, which is a city in Tamil Nadu, India. And over to the topic. Anyone who has worked in Terraform and wondering a way to test it would have been in this situation. There are a lot of issues that pops up when we are trying to test Terraform. It is very difficult to get that kind of a confidence that you get in a typical program uh, like Python or Java because of the lack of testing support. It involves running Terraform plan and apply on your actual infrastructure with the fear that something might happen to the actual setup. There are a lot of testing frameworks that came and went and there is always a tool that comes first and then it goes down and then we have to learn and uh, learn these new tools, learn new languages to set them up, maintain, upgrade. There are a lot of problems that comes with it and it has been historically challenging. Terraform did not launch their Terraform testing directly in version 1.6.0. They have been introducing a lot of frameworks from version 0.13.0, input variable validation, pre and post condition, introduction of Terraform check, test command, and the actual test command with mocks. The hero of our topic today is Terraform test command and Terraform test command with mocks that was introduced in version 1.6.0 and version 1.7.0 respectively. The Terraform testing 1.6 is actually a game changer. Why? What makes it a game changer? So it underneath, it creates actual infrastructure, which provides real world testing. It gives you tangible results. You would be able to see whether your test cases pass or failed and the reasons for their passing or failure. It applies, it usually runs and plan, runs the plan and apply commands for you in the sense that you do not have to go and do Terraform plan, Terraform apply. Just running a command called Terraform test will do the plan and apply commands for you. There is no need for third party tools for testing. And the biggest advantage, one of the many things that made Terraform what it is, was its declarative framework. You don't have to go to Terraform and say, you know what, do this, do that. And after that, do this. And before that, do this. Make sure that all of that is done. Instead, all you have to do is just say a state that you want the resources to be in. I want an EC2 instance to be created. I want the route table to be created. I want an S3 bucket to be created with these, these, these values. And Terraform would go ahead and create them for you. It, they have used the testing, same framework for testing as well. And it is in declarative methods as well. It allows seamless integration with HCL, it, using which we can bid farewell to the external tools. We don't have to worry about maintaining them, upgrading them, making sure that they are all working as expected, along with maintaining, upgrading Terraform. It's the same language, same flow. You don't have to learn n number of languages for you to run test case on one language. This is a simple architecture diagram that I have created for this demo. It's as simple as that. There is an EC2, use, which I have launched in a public subnet, which is connected to a VPC the uber cool user, that would be you and me, would be able to hit the web server that I have launched in the EC2 instance. It's as simple as that. Before I run into the demo though, I want to cover a few testing semantics for Terraform test. It processes Terraform testing files. When I say Terraform testing files, just like Terraform files, which has the .tf extension, the Terraform testing files have the .tf test .hcl ex extension. It executes Terraform test command, will go ahead and executes all the contained tests within the .tf test.hcl file. And if you can also test modules using this, which I'll again cover in a couple more slides later, they keep their own state files in their memory. If you know state, it, it is where Terraform says whether it's created or not. It is how Terraform makes that mapping. So for Terraform tests, it keeps it separate from the actual infrastructure state files in the memory itself. Terraform test creates real infrastructure. And once the tests are done, it destroys them. 
one thing to note sometimes the infrastructure does not get deleted you have to keep an eye out for the terraform test output to see if there are any left out infrastructure parts and delete them manually in terraform the default behavior of a run block is to execute command equal to apply what does it mean when i provide a run block which is similar to a test case that we write in any other programming language it will automatically go ahead and then create the infrastructure let's say if you want to just test some logical things maybe you have a locals block maybe you have some logical conditions that you are added in the terraform uh, files you can use terra command equal to plan as one of the variables this is how a typical folder structure would look like i'm not going to go into detail of each of these files but highlight on the test folder if you keep all of your tf test.hcl files inside the test folder terraform would be able to pick it up and would be able to run the test commands on top of it so before we jump into the demo i want to quickly cover some semantics of terraform testing so that you will be able to understand what is happening inside so we can specify a variables block inside a run block a run block is similar to a test case as you can see it follows the format run followed by a name that makes sense and inside that you can specify a variables block why do we need a variables block let's say there are some dependencies while running uh, the terraform test for example i want to test if my code is failing as expected and i want to test it with a failing variable i can provide it inside the run block it might look a little bit confusing but during the demo you'll be able to understand better as you can see you can add a command equal to plan command equal to apply here command equal to plan and command equal to apply means that plan runs a terraform plan command equal to apply just means it runs a terraform apply and runs the test cases against it another syntax i'll quickly explain this command here is open to the world and i'm planning and uh, using a terraform plan for this the condition it is checking whether the variable that i provided for this is the value 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. It should be not equal to 0.0.0.0/slash/zero. So if it is equal to it, the Terraform test will fail, saying that CIDR should not be open to the world. And again, one more condition here, the same one that we saw previously. But as you can see, it was accessing the variable that was outside the run block. Here we are accessing the variable that is inside the run block. Another important. A uh, feature of Terraform test is that you can run Terraform test for modules. In Terraform test files, you can again create a run block and the providers. I'll come back to it in a minute. You can use command equal to apply so that the actual infrastructure gets created. And I'll come. I'll come to the module block. It might look familiar. In a typical module block, you'll have the module and the module name. Here, you do not have to give the module name. Instead, just give the module and the source location of the module. You can also uh, optionally specify a version if you are maintaining different versions for this module and whatever variables that are needed for the module you can provide it inside the variables block in a typical module block you will have the variables underneath the module but here we are keeping it outside so these values will be supplied to the module and the module will be executed and you can run tests on top of this again something you will be able to see in the demo so here i have given a provider which means that let's say uh, it can be used in specific scenarios where let's say I want to run all of the module related tests in uh, AP South one and all of the other tests in let's say EU Central one. It is up to me. So for that reason, you can provide use providers and give an alias to the provider and use it within the block. Here, AWS at the left means I'm using an AWS provider. AWS right means I'm using an alias, which you'll be again able to see in the demo. Over to the interesting demo that I talked about. So as you can see, you are seeing my uh, terminal where I have created several projects for different versions. Now we are going to specifically go into Terraform Bush testing 1.6.0. So if I run the tree command here, you can see that I have the following structure highlight on the test folder and the modules folder. Let me quickly go and run the Terraform test right away because it takes some time. In the meantime, I can go ahead and explain the code to you. Okay, so 
If you look at the actual test, it is very simple. It creates an AWS EC2 instance and it uses a module for creating an EBS volume. The network again is pretty straightforward. It has a VPC, internet gateway, route table, route, submit, the yada yada. Whatever variables that I've provided is present here. I have kept several variable validations here. This will come into picture during one of our tests and that's why I'm explaining particularly this one. So I have kept a variable validation here which checks whether the AMI that I'm supplying has these four letters in the beginning as a prefix. If it's not there, it means it's an invalid AMI. I know that it's a simple test, but just for the sake of this use case, I've added that. Now, let me go to the actual test files. I, there in the test folder, I have three, two test files, demo TF test SCL and demo module. As you can see, it's all in red. It just means that VS Code does not supply it, um, so, so, does not support it. But yeah, you can go ahead and understand it irrespective of that. Provider AWS AP South one. If you look at the actual provider of this one, I have created this in the, if I run the actual Terraform plan or apply, it will go ahead and run in US West one. But here I have for the test case purpose, I am running it in AP South one and I have given that specific provider. I can provide several variables here too. Let me come back to the variables as and when needed. The first test that I'm checking is whether the EC2 instance that I have created has the valid number of tags. What I'm saying here is that I'm using the provider AWS, use that itself here so that it gets created in AP South one. I'm going to apply and see whether the tags got created or not. The condition that I have here is whether the AWS instance dot demo, which is the AWS instance that I created here, AWS instance demo dot tags all. Tags all is an attribute that it exports is not equal to zero, making sure that the tags are added. If it is not added, tags are not properly added to the instance will be the error message that we will be getting. Run valid key of tags. Whether it has the valid key of tags. Let's say name is a tag that I definitely want all of these resources should have. Here, what I'm doing is in the default tags, that is the tag variable that I am getting from the variables that I am passing to the actual EC2 instance, whether that name is being applied to the actual instances tag as well. So I am getting a map of these values and I'm checking if the name matches between the both. Whatever I'm supplying is what I'm getting in the AWS instance. If it is not there, it'll get an error. Tags are not properly added to the instance. Again, it is in a run block with a meaningful name. Is public IP assigned? We checked it in during the example. Is open to the world? Is also a check during the example. Yeah, is public IP assigned? Command apply condition. Uh, sorry, I checked the is open to the world, not the is public IP assigned. It is AWS instance demo public IP. I'm making sure since I want this web server to be accessible from the internet, I'm checking if that variable is empty or not. Again, if it's not there, it will throw an error. Expect failure. So this is where the variable validation that I was pointing to comes into picture. If I go to variables.tf, I've written a condition where if I give a wrong AMI, it should throw me an exception or a failure. So here expect failure means that if I provide this ABCD, it will go to that variable, fail that variable validation and the whole Terraform plan would fail and it would be expect failures. In this case, the test case is a pass. Yeah, as you can see, all of these, all of these uh, test cases were a pass. There are multiple passes and as you can see, I can see multiple tearing down. Whatever was created gets torn down. In the meantime, let me go to the module test case setup. Again, here also I'm making sure that I wanted to run an AP South one. I'm using that. I'll come back to the, I'll come to the first module demo. Here is where I'm saying, you know, you run these tests against this module. How will this run block know that it depends upon the above run block module? As you can see here, it's the same. I am checking that run dot module demo similar to module how we access module we can access the run block run dot module demo dot ebs tags all what is this ebs tags all this is nothing but if I go to the actual main dot tf it's a very simple setup with a couple of variables uh, and an AWS ebs volume that it creates and the output that it exports this value I am referring to in here ebs tags all equal to two I'm making sure that 
I want the two tax to be added, are the two tax getting added? If it fails, you will get tax are not properly added to the EBS volume. Those are the first two cases. In this case, one you, only the EBS volume gets created, not the whole infrastructure. And whatever got created was tagged down. And in the second case, all of them got created and all of them got turned down. So that's it, folks, on the Terraform testing part. In case of any questions, you can reach out to me. You can search me on LinkedIn on Dharani Soundarya. I'd be happy to answer. Thank you.